before starting the video i just want to tell you that now i'm doing game rental slash offline activation service basically any game you can imagine uh, i have that like call of duty modern warfare 1 2 3 star wars jedi survivor avatar Phantoms of pandora and many more so if you are interested in that you can comment down below or join my discord and come to the particular group hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another uh, updated TLSS 3 FSR 3 video, we are back with uh, Arc Survival Ascendant or Arc Ascendant. Uh, the version is uh, 3.4.82. So, some users reported that uh, with this update, uh, the previous mod was not working. So, I have made an update uh, to the game. Uh, no, sorry, not the game, the mod. Uh, so, I have made actually two zips uh, V1 and V2. Uh, so hopefully uh, one of it will work on every RTX GPUs. Uh, also this mod is going to be only for the RTX GPUs. Uh, currently not uh, non-RTX cards are not supported because it uses the DLSS 3 frame generation not the FSR 3 frame generation. Uh, so right now uh, I am in the game and I am playing on uh, wait, show you. like I am playing on 1080p with everything on medium and here as you can see uh with uh, dlss uh off uh we are getting around on native quality we are getting around 40 fps only uh game is a little bit optimized than before because previously we were getting heavy starters with 20 to 30 fps only but now it seems to be a little bit more stable than uh previous versions so yeah it's around uh, 30 to 40 fps now uh there is no major starter but yeah uh, fps is still very low so yeah we're gonna install the dlss 3 mod and uh, let's see how much more we can get uh oh leave that uh, dinosaur a flying dinosaur uh, okay let's uh, begin installing the mod so you can see two zips here uh at survival dlss v1 and at survival dlss v2 so first we're gonna test the v1 then we're gonna test the v2 so we're gonna extract the v1 zip on the desktop and after that we're gonna copy everything inside so if you are a first time user uh, you will be needing to activate the registry file in order to activate the dlss3 combination so yeah we're gonna go to the installation folder here after that uh, shooter game then binaries then win64 and where the ascendant.exe is located we're gonna paste the files right here now if you are a new user of this mod if you are a new uh like what do you say first time using this dlss3 mod on the rtx gpu uh, you will need to double click on this uh, disable nvidia signature check uh, what it will do is uh, add your uh, rtx uh, any rtx card uh, to the rtx 4000 series category uh, and the frame generation will be activated so yeah we're gonna run the game now Okay, we are back at the same location again. And the FPS is uh, still around the same 40, 30, 35, it's even a little lower, uh, like 40. So we are not activated the frame generator. We're gonna go to the setting, then uh, RTX, then click on the frame generation, turn it on, and also we're gonna activate the DLSS to maybe quality. Then click on save and come back to the game. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now you can feel the smoothness in the video, like it's uh, very smooth than previous. And uh, this has also boosted to 80, yeah, 70 to 80. And sometimes even also reaching uh, upper than 80, like uh, when there's a lot less demanding textures. But yeah, usually it's around 60, 70, yeah, 70 to 80. Uh, it's the mod uh, v one uh, Now it has successfully tested and we're gonna now test the uh, we too. What you want to fight? Go away, shoot, shoot. Okay, now we'll test the V2 zip. Uh, this is fully stable, no good flicker or anything. Both zips are fully stable, no good flicker or anything. So, yeah, feel free to try uh, any of them, which one works for you. Okay, now we're gonna just uh, remove the previous files and uh, paste the profit. I started the game. So 
so yeah we're just gonna uh, remove the previous files and paste this one so we're gonna go to the uh, file location we're gonna delete the previous files this one this one this one this one and this one too okay now we're gonna paste the dlss3 b2 zip so we're gonna open the zip and copy everything here so if you have already done the signature check uh, first time you don't need to do it again you just need to do it one time uh, if you are a first time user of this mod no need to do it again and again Okay, we are back, and as you guys can already see, the FPS uh, is here. Yeah, it's uh, working, I think. The FPS is around 70 to 80, a little bit fluctuating, but yeah, mostly staying uh, around 70. Uh, I'll show you that the frame rate is still working with this uh, mod too. Like you go to setting RTX, then you can see that DLSS is on, frame generation is also on. So yeah, it's only working. Uh, you can feel the smoothness in this one too. And there is no hood flicker also. Uh, you can see here no hood flicker, no boosting. This is 100% stable on any RTX GPU like RTX 2060, 3060, uh, any any RTX GPU, 2003, 2003. So yeah, uh, this will be it, guys. Uh, if this video helps you, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm bringing more and more f 3 slash DLSS3 content every day. You can also join Discord for uh, more interesting stuffs. Uh, you know which I'm talking about. And yeah, uh, till then, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy gaming. Cheers.